Damn. Oh, damn. Damn. That's what I gotta say. My God. I am telling you. Oh, damn. I sat down. And, you know, did this time. I, I hate that sound. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. You know, you know and, and then the people that I hired to fix this, you know, heckling jekyll. Freaking frat. They didn't do it right. Oh. Excuse me, y'all. Y'all, yeah, because it's going to drive me crazy. All right. Let's go slam. Guys, I tell you. Yes, I know everything. Like, no matter where or how I situate kid, you still got it. to say. Guys, this witchcraft is so sad. 11 people have died already. One person lost their arm. One person got into a car accident. Another person caught pneumonia and got sick. Another person fell from the window. One person got hijacked. And the dog went deaf. <laughs> I'm like, what? Uh, and the detective was telling me, oh, and then they're putting out this hit on you and to kill you, blah, 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 blah. And I, I'm like, Look at me. Look at me. It doesn't work. It's not working. It's not working. But I'm telling you what is happening. Your lives, those of you who are doing this, is, uh, is becoming a shambles. Many of you are losing your minds. Many of you can sleep, can eat, are obsessed. The same kinds of evil intentions that you're throwing at me or my companies and families and is coming back to you seven times. Seven times. Y'all been doing this for years, but it's gotten real, really, 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 really intense since January. And I'm still here. I'm still on my shit. I'm still getting this bag, you know, and, 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 and for what? I even heard that a little girl got sick and is on her deathbed because she was helping her mother do spells down in Florida. This is terrible. Terrible. And that, that hatred and it's so bad. It's so bad that there's been two arrests by law enforcement because three other people have died that have been connected with these kinds of spells. And, you know, they had to now file an investigation. So now there are investigations and people are being watched, being taped. Even I'm being watched by the feds, or I, you know, because of the hit that they put out. Uh, it's crazy and all the money spent. And they're like, what did you do? Well, they hate me because of my hair, you know, my bag, oh, my platform. And somehow they think that this is something that comes easy to me and that I didn't have to work for it. Or uh, they're jealous because they feel that they can't do it. Shit, you can do anything you want if you put your mind to it. You just gotta do the fucking work. You know? These are broken people, empty people, but very dangerous. And I just feel so bad for them. For you to get to this level of degradation where you feel that you have to kill someone. Never mind doing all kinds of brutal little tricks here and there, but just kill them. Uh, because you feel that they owe you something or they represent something that you want to be that you feel that you can be. So then the, my mere presence is an irritation to you. So now you got to take the person out. I mean, that is crazy. But honestly, I don't know what's more crazier. The fact that you think that you have the authority to take away someone's life who's innocent, who, does, uh, who has done nothing to you. Some of you, I don't even know you. And you go, and you're upset with trying to take me down. Not gonna happen. Uh, you need to put that kind of energy and resource. Because God knows where you're getting the money. 
and I know about the fraudulent falsification of papers and, and the money being taken and, and going to the bank and, and I know all about it, all about it. So don't try to come here to reconcile and give me an offering. Keep your fucking cup because I know they try to kill me, put a hit on me, swatch my papers. Or the, I know it all. You slept on me thinking that I was full of shit. No, I'm the real thing and I see everything, everything. Everything, everything, everything. Who's involved? Everything. And I pray and pray, God, shed them light, shed them light, give them light. These are people that are broken, they're pain, they come from karma, they're, they're in families that are karmic and toxic. These people had they didn't have a chance. God, so much. I do pray for you. And because I do pray for you, is why the karma is coming at you so much faster and worse. God is the boss. He's not going to allow no witchcraft to hurt innocent people who've done nothing to you. Yeah, you see, many of you have lost your careers, your jobs, your husbands, your boyfriends. Many of you had your cars impounded. Many of you were stopped by you. Two people are on the run from the police right now. And one is hiding somewhere in their own person's house. Oh, we see it all. It's, you know, and, and is it worth it now? Is it worth it? I tell you, yeah, that, that, that is some shit. Well, what I'm going to do is uh, this is a prelude to the message that I have for the chosen one. First, I got to define what that is. So let me read uh, song number 11. Because maybe you don't believe me. Maybe you don't believe that God protects the righteous. Now, I'm not innocent. No one is innocent. Otherwise, we won't be born here. But personally, I'm innocent to what you think you feel justified and to trying to destroy me, my empire, and everything else. It's not yours for the taking. You didn't work for it. You didn't earn it. Those of you thought that you could uh, hurt and abuse other human beings because you felt that maybe because they come from abuse, that they are not uh, at the level of self-worth or self-esteem that they should be. So then that you think that these people deserve to be mistreated because you were mistreated. And because you don't have a sense of self-worth and self-esteem to elevate yourself, you attract people that vibrate at your level. And then when you find someone that's elevated, it's a reminder of your own inadequacy. But it's not a death sentence. You can change. Why don't you look what I'm doing and let that be an inspiration and motivation for you to do something similar and be great. That's so much better and so much cheaper than to try to take somebody out. Because to think that you have the, the authority to do that and that God is going to let you do it. You are as delusional as someone who's in an asylum. We ain't here to just do our own thing unsupervised, unchecked. You need to stop what you're doing because you are cursing your family. You're cursing your family bloodline for generations. These karma that are flying back to you and they're coming with the quickness is going to last at least 7 to 14 years. You know, that's, not, that's a good chunk of your life. For what? It's, I, you know, it really is uh, amazing the level of emptiness and brokenness and darkness that must be in these people. They really, I need my collective to sh send light, light, light to these people. I know you don't know them. I don't know half of them either. Send them light, send them love. But for those of you who are persistent, let me read you Psalm number 11. Now you all know that number 11 and number 22 are master numbers. Let me tell you what number 11 song is. Mr. Bagu! <laughs> In the Lord put I my trust. How say ye to my soul? Flee as a bird to your mountain. For lo, the wicked bend their bow. They make ready their arrow upon the string that they may privily shoot at the upright in the heart. 
if the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? Meaning that if my foundation in God, in Christ, is destroyed, I'm left open for those things to occur and that I would have been dead a long time ago. Then you would have succeeded. But my foundation lies in the Lord. And don't forget that Allah, Jehovah, you know what those names mean in Hebrew and Arabic? The, the destroyer. You want to fuck with that? Okay. Moving on. The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes behold. His eyelids try the children of men. The Lord trieth the righteous. But the wicked and him that loveth violence, his soul hateth. Upon the wicked he shall rain snares, fire, and brimstone, and in horrible tempest. This shall be the portion of their cup. For the righteous Lord loveth the righteousness of those chosen he loveth. His countenance doth behold the upright. God is against you because you're attacking those that are elect and are protected. He hates what you're doing and will put a horrible tempest upon your lives because of what you're doing. Don't say I didn't warn you. And it's right here. You're going to give yourself to God. Stop what you're doing. Stop on your tracks. I'm telling you, you're going to lose family members, children. You know, even pets will be dying. I'm telling you, the dog, the dog went deaf. Oh God, I almost fell out. Almost fell out. I had to do this video because a lot of um, the chosen ones out there are being attacked. Especially divine feminines being attacked a lot. And divine ma uh, masculine attacking the divine feminine or betraying them. And then you have divine masculines that have comics. As well as divine feminine that have comics and get in the way of destroying divine unions. You're going to pay for that dearly, dearly, for many lifetimes to come. Why you want to continue that? That really is hell on earth. It really is. And it's so sad. It's so sad. I, I, I'm telling you, I am, I am in shock, in shock that all of this is going on behind the scenes. Uh... Because I knew, but I, not, 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 not to the magnitude that it was, that it is. And people are dropping, dropping, I'm telling you. To the, uh, to the point where law enforcement had to arrest people. Now, wh who do you know arrest people because of witchcraft? That, that has nothing to do with law enforcement and government. But it's that bad that now law enforcement and the FBI is involved. Fierce, fierce, fierce. I got the paperwork. And then the people stealing from the company or trying to attack the company or all that. And then they're getting fucked up in their finances and they're getting fucked up in this. It's like fierce. You know, my company, my empire is protected, divinely protected. I don't be sitting in a basket of wealth and money and spreading it. No, all that is to give for charity and to help advance and elevate the world. What will you do if you were entrusted with that kind of wealth? Will you snort it up and drink it up or spend it on prostitutes or do something productive for yourself and for society? I don't think you'll be able to handle it. It's fierce. It's fierce. Ooh, let me, let me drink my leaf while I tea. Ooh, I like this flavor. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I've been drinking tea. tea. Some, some teas, sometimes now. I really like my sweet tea. But I, I, I don't drink it because, you know, it's too sweet. And, and it's not that ghetto tea. But I love some ghetto tea. I love that sweet tea. But no, I got to drink that, you know, non-sugar. All right. Listen. There are many uh, chosen ones are those who are born with spiritual gifts. Those who were born with a veil upon um, delivery. 
I was born with a veil. I have a, I have a twin brother, and I was born with a veil, and they had to cut the veil off my face. So I already knew who I was. And there are many of you that were born with veils. T.D. Jakes was born with a veil. I just saw his sermon last night. A Virgo. No. And he's been through his shit too. Ooh. You know, how many of us healers, empaths, tarot readers, clairaudient, clairvoyant, those with special mental telekinesis, uh, psychokinesis, uh, ESP, reading thoughts, doing dream work, or a witcher. Some of you are witchers. Remember that there's a show on Netflix called The Witcher. Man, I'm one too. Many of you are witchers. But that's something that you don't do in, in the physical plane. You do that in the astral plane or in the dream world. Some of you are, are lucid dreamers. Some of you are here to witness the ending of, an, of the age. Some of you are here with DNA blood that comes from Cyrus, Orion, and other star systems. Some of you walk around, like myself, with archons from different star systems, which confirms your royalty and royal blood. We are here to do a job spiritually to uplift humanity, advance it, and move that mentality from the Piscean age which has come to a close to not begin thinking in the new mentality that's required to usher the new incoming age. So we have a lot of work to do. But like I say in my video, there's an agency of polarity you got the evil side, the agency of evil. And this is where it comes from. Because they're designed to stop us, destroy us. And we are designed to fight and persist. You know, I'm telling you, it's Shambhala and Agartha. And the war still goes on. Nothing is new under the sun. The same battle is still going on from ages past. But let me tell you, ignorant, broken people are the most dangerous. The most dangerous. You think a diabolical mind is dangerous? An ignorant mind is just as worse. It was sage. Uh, you need to protect yourself every day. Read the Psalms in the day, in the morning, when you get up. Read it at noonday and at sundown. Do your spiritual baths with a peppermint, spearmint, mint, with laurel leaves and Florida water. Some of you might need to do beer baths. I remember doing beer baths when I lived in Egypt 25,000 years ago under the kingdom of uh, Hathor, which lay in the lower delta. I remember those past lives. And in Atlantis too. You might need to take um, Lucky Leaves and scrub your body to clean the aura. That way, when people do readings on you, and let's say you broke up with an ex, and yet months later, you go to a reader and your ex is still in your energy. Well, he's still in your energy because you're still probably holding pain. There's a connection and that's why he's still in there. Or maybe you left clothes in his house. So now they can work magic on you about those clothes and the articles that you leave behind. I left lots of clothes and articles behind. And people have tried to do all kinds of shit, but I'm, I'm protected. They, they do what you want, it ain't gonna happen. But that's not the truth for everybody. Don't leave clothes, articles of yours in no one's house. Don't eat and you know how many times people have tried to poison me? How many times? Don't eat in people's houses that you don't know. Even if they are family and they want to give you something to eat, say, no, I'll get it, I'll get it. Or eat and drink before you get there, so like that you don't have to uh, offend anybody. We say, no, thank you. Because you don't know who's who. 
and who's for you and who's against you. And if it so happens that you've been poisoned and you ate something as a hex, you can break it by taking honey, olive oil, and the holy water from the church. And yes, you are going to have to go to the church and get the holy water yourself. Do not go to a botanica and get the holy water, no, because it's sitting in a place that's not consecrated, that's not sacred. At least I give that to the church. At least the church is, is a place of consecration. So you get that water, and if you don't have any, take the water and read the Lord's Prayer, and you bless it. You, you mix it together, you drink it. And if you get a stomach ache and you have to run to the bathroom, you were poisoned with some witchcraft. And if the if the shit is stinks and it's not your natural smell, yes, you, you ate something, someone gave you something. The, the, the body gives you clues. Stay alert, pay attention, protect yourself. Never lower your energy to their level. Pray and ask God for mercy as he delivers judgment on these people. That's what I gotta say. I will be doing readings, but I'm going to run the class, run the school. And then, of course, for those of you who have readings, I don't have schedule today, call me. And those who want to schedule readings, then call me after um, after 3 o'clock. Because I begin the uh, the school. Run, I run the school from 3 to 9. And in between, I do readings at like 5 o'clock, 5 to 6, I can take a little break. And then anyone, uh, Mr. Elman, Mr. Elman. Please call me after 11 because I have a session with you and I have someone at 9. So just call me for a while you can catch me. Those of you I'm offering free courses for those of you, for those of you who I've been late returning the reading because again when you're fighting stuff like this, you got to, you know, make sure that it doesn't uh, affect you. I love you guys. Thank you so much for your love, your patience, uh, you know. Support your channel. No, that guy guys have not been living supporting your channel now. Support the channel. This whole uh, all helps and deliver content. Don't forget, uh, I have Patreon. Those of you can join Patreon and have a specific content. I just uploaded some videos on Patreon on Lemoria. I did one that was really really good and it didn't go through something with the sounds. So I had to repeat that again. So guys, and uh, um, I will talk to you soon. Bye, guys.